Hi, this is Sandro, and uh, many years ago, when I started in this wonderful business, I was told that the best time to get referrals was at the point of sale, that time when the client was signing the application form. And I have learned over the years that that is absolutely not the right time to get referrals. Uh, and let me just, as an aside, mention the word referrals, because I think that is a word that we have been using for centuries, and it is a fundamentally incorrect word to use. Why? Because by definition, the word referral indicates that you are looking for a name and a telephone number. And you might say at a basic level, well, isn't that what we are looking for? Yes, but without the personal introduction that goes with the name and the telephone number, you are simply going to be making a cold call. So let's just put that to one side. We'll learn more about that on the masterclass. But the best time in my mind to ask for referrals, and I've I've heard this mentioned a few times is we should always be asking, but you know, that's a rather glib comment. And I've heard that mentioned in practice. It, it doesn't work like that. The very best time not to ask for referrals, but to expect referrals quite rightly as part of uh, an holistic overall financial planning process is during the fact find. Now that might take a little bit by surprise. How do you get effective personal introductions during the fact find? Well, when we're talking about that bit where we typically are mentioning what happens in the event of your death, you know, who replaces the money from the breadwinner in the family, who pays off the mortgage, uh, is there any other cash or capital that is needed to help meet certain objectives within the family? These are conversations that you have all the time. I don't need to, uh, to make mention or to give you any pointers in that respect. Everyone can do that bit. But what we should be using are three or four very important words. And the words are, I need to dot, 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 because. And the reason why this is really important, there's a, there's a lot of science behind this. It's been proven that the instruction, I need to, followed by some kind of justification, which is the because bit, uh, leads people to positive action. If we simply allow ourselves to take a back foot position and put the prospective client in control by asking for referrals, would it be okay if it typically leads to, I can't think of anyone or leave it with me and I'll get back to you. Whereas when we use the words, I need to, so typically we might be asking things like, in the event of your death, who would look after your children? We call those guardians. In the event of um, something happening, who would administer your estate? We call them executors. It might be that there are other people involved in the process of um, managing one's affairs. And also beneficiaries, you know, who is likely to inherit your estate? That typically might be children. So we might end up with four, five, six names of people that are very closely associated with our prospective client and all who stand to either benefit or be involved in the process of dealing with that person's estate. So using the words, I need to meet these people, I need to have conversations with these people because unlike most financial professionals who are very transactional, unfortunately, we provide a truly holistic financial planning service. And what that means is we need to meet these people so that they understand who benefits, who's involved, where the money is, how they claim on the policies that have been established, who I am, build a relationship with me at this moment in time, because that's a very important part of the process too. And when the client or prospective client sees the obvious benefit to them, a referral after all, is obvious benefit to the advisor, which is why the client often can't think of anybody. When we present it as an obvious benefit, and it is a benefit to them, of this holistic financial planning, end-to-end -end 360 degree service, then of course the prospective client is much more likely to say, absolutely, I understand the benefits, let me introduce you to these people. So the very, very best time to ask for personal introductions, not referrals, personal introductions is during the fact find when we're talking about assets, liabilities, what would happen in the event of their death, and those words, I need to because, instruction followed by justification, always leads to positive outcomes.